today I'm going to show you the fastest way in the world to develop a mobile app on your Android device. Now you don't have to download anything to your computer to get started, but you do want to download something on your phone so you can test your apps. To get started, you're going to go to ai2.appinventor.mit.edu. Next you'll be prompted to log in to your Google account. Once you've logged in, a QR code will display. Scanning the QR code will allow you to download the MIT App Inventor companion app to your phone. This is what you'll be using to test the apps you build. Now you may have a QR code scanner on your phone already, but if not, you're going to need to download one. We recommend downloading the Zing barcode scanner, which you can find for free on the Android market. Now you're also going to want to go to your system settings. Then click on the security tab. Scroll down and make sure that you have the unknown sources option enabled on your device. Now let's use our QR code scanner to download and install the companion app to our phone. Now that we've downloaded the companion app, let's go ahead and build something. Let's start by creating our first project. Now when we first open our project, it takes us to the components screen. This is where we control the look and feel of our app. Now click on the blocks tab. This is where you control the app's functionality. Click connect to and then connect companion to bring up another QR code. This time we're going to open the companion app and press scan QR code. Now your computer and phone need to be on the same Wi-Fi network for this to work. Now just click connect with code and there's the app. If I make any changes, they'll appear on the designer and on my phone. First, let's add a button. Now, let's change the text of the button to click me. Let's bring in a text-to-speech component, and we'll look at the blocks. We'll take the button component and place the text-to-speech component inside of it. Now, let's add some text to the text-to-speech component. Now let's check this bad boy out on our phone. Now you can see the button, and when we press it... You are now a programmer. 